Hospitals revive addicts after overdoses, and often that's the easy part. What happens to those patients next is the target of a new weapon in the battle against addiction. Local 12's Angela Ingram is live at Mercy Health in Bond Hill with how all of this will work. Angela. Well, Cami, it's a way for workers here at Mercy Health to provide long-term care for patients, not just simply toss them out once they receive help in an emergency room. And doctors are very hopeful that this new approach will help save more lives. Breathe. When a person overdoses, they may have access to short-term detox, but Mercy Health says often in the battle against addiction, that's just not enough. So we formed uh, a uh, collaborative, what we fondly call the Mercy Health Addiction Treatment Collaborative in Cincinnati with 14 other agencies. The goal is to connect patients with longer term treatment and standardized care. To make sure that patients are less likely to relapse, Mercy also put together a treatment on demand network. Given the lethality of uh, specific conditions like opioid use disorder, uh, a waiting list is like a death list. When individuals and families are searching for addiction treatment in our communities, um, it often is a broken maze. Raj Gupta is with Crosswave Health. His company put together findlocaltreatment.com. It gives real-time information on providers and whether they're taking clients. You can search based on where you're uh, we are searching from your gender, your age. Doctors at Mercy also want to include police into their efforts. This is our newest form of Narcan we have. It's a different atomizer. Newtown Chief Tom Sinan is part of the Hamilton County Heroin Coalition. For Sinan, Mercy's efforts help take the stigma away from addiction. So what we were doing as first responders is the only thing that we've been able to do for the past three or four years, and that is Narcan somebody and walk away from them. So if we start treating it like a medical condition, and then we have an opportunity to fix it. We're not fixing anything by sticking the addicted into a jail cell just sitting there. Providers say the deadly cost of addiction is well worth an investment in long-term recovery. When the next generation asks, what did you do when the biggest drug epidemic hit this country? We want to be able to say, and I think we will be able to say now, that we did something that no one had ever seen before. And the collaborative initially started with 10 addiction treatment providers, and that was in January. Four more have since joined on for a total of 14, which is very good news as we try to battle this drug issue. Reporting live tonight from Bond Hill, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Cami, back to you. All right, Angela, thank you. The collaborative hopes to include more providers and public health organizations.